This is our first lecture on nouns. Um, <clears throat> nouns uh, are a word that names a person, place, thing, or idea. So some examples of nouns that name people, girl, boy, mother, father, teacher, student. Places are, place, are nouns like uh, home, school, store, park, woods. Things could be book, pencil, chair, bike, hat, shoe, ribbon. Ideas um, are words like freedom or time or happiness or a memory. Okay, so <clears throat> these uh, are words that name people, places, things, and idea. Um, we have two basic categories, common nouns and proper nouns. Common nouns name a person, place, thing, or idea um, and are never capitalized. And it could be any person, place, thing, or idea, not a specific one. Proper nouns name a very specific uh, person, place, thing, or idea. They're always capitalized, and there's only one of them. So, for example, principal, doctor, bus driver, those are common nouns. There are lots of bus drivers, lots of doctors, lots of principals. However, there's only one Mr. Goyette, so that is a proper noun, and capitalize the M for Mr. and the G for Goyette. There's only one Dr. Smith. There's only one Mrs. Holiday. Um, there's lots of cities, libraries, churches, but there's only one Sutton, so it's capitalized. One Worcester Public Library, one St. Mark's. Um, book, but bystander is a specific book. There's only one book titled Bystander. Shoes, but Nike is one brand of shoe, and Pen and Bic is one brand of a, of a pen. Um, days are not capitalized, but Monday would be month and holiday, etc. Okay? Um, so we also can categorize nouns as abstract and concrete. So um, nouns that name ideas are usually naming an abstract noun. So they're ideas, qualities, or feelings that can't be seen or touched, such as the progress made on the building was amazing. So progress is an idea, um, and so that would be an abstract noun. I love learning about the culture in China. China is a specific place. We can go there. However, culture is more abstract. That's an idea about something. It's made up of lots of different elements. And so culture is abstract. Loyalty is abstract. Truth is abstract. Okay, We can't see or touch the truth. We know it when we uh, are telling it or someone's not telling it, but it's not something that can be touched. Concrete nouns are things that we can see or touch. They physically exist in the world. Door, fan, grass, road, librarian, the Eiffel Tower, the Linden Bridge, clouds, okay? So it might be hard for us to touch them, but they are actually physically there. The sun is physically there. Rain, snow, wind. Um, so that's the difference between abstract and concrete. Um, in terms of finding nouns, you want to ask who, what, where, right? Looking for people, places, things, and ideas in a sentence. And there are some tricks that can help you. Nouns will always follow the articles. So a, an, and the are special kinds of adjectives. We call them articles. And if you look for them, you'll always find a noun following them. Um, Hank rides the ferry that passes near the famous statute. So it's the statute, statute's the noun. Um, they answer the what and the who. So what passes the ferry? Who takes it? Hank, right? It passes near what? The statute. So they answer the who and what questions. Um, and they're also, they're often following prepositions in the sentence. So if you find the prepositions, you will find your noun because it's going to be their object. On uh, the dock, dock being the noun, over the top. Here's an abstract noun, right? But it is a noun. It follows the article the and it's the object of over. Over the top, top would be a noun. Behind the chair. In the view, okay, so view is a little bit more abstract. It is a noun, though, following the preposition in and the article the on the mark, the same, and in an hour. So it can really help you, especially with finding abstract nouns, to look for articles um, and prepositions and to ask those questions about who or what. Okay, so um, Proper nouns, a word about those, um, are always capitalized. You're going to capitalize the most important um, words in multiple word names. So you're going to capitalize the names of the people and their titles. So Mr. Goyette, President Obama, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. So their title would also be capitalized when you're referring to a specific person. For a place, 
Oak Street, you're going to name the whole part. Think of it as like a first and last name, New York City, North Dakota. Museum of Art. Here we do not capitalize of. Of uh, is a short word. It's not considered important. So we only capitalize museum and art and not the word of. Okay, so um, there's some more additional examples. The same with titles and books, movies, magazines, television programs, and songs. So you're going to capitalize all the important words and the first word. So the Red Pyramid. Secrets of Vesuvius. We're not capitalizing of here. War and Peace. We don't capitalize the and. Men in Black 3, we don't capitalize the end, but every other word is capitalized. The Avengers, Transformers, Dark Side of the Moon. So here, of and the are not capitalized because they're in the middle, but every other word is. And then you're going to capitalize the important words in the names of schools and organizations. So Sutton High School, Music Club, American Legion. If you're just referring to a high school, you would not capitalize it. But if you're referring to a specific high school, or middle school or elementary school is part of the name, then you would. Um, just a word about suffixes. Um, suffixes are groups of letters added to the end of a root word to form a new word. Um, and there are certain ones that tend to make nouns. Okay, so uh, suffixes ship, I A N, E R, M E N T, N E S S, A or T, A T I O N or T I O N tend to make a word a noun. So friendship, music, musician, farm, farmer, enjoy, enjoyment, rough, roughness, observe, observation. So these are all nouns. Um, and um, again, just a little bit more on abstract nouns. Many abstract nouns um, have suffixes added to the root like happiness, sadness, honesty. Um, plurals, there are eight basic rules for making nouns plurals. You should know them. These are in your notes. Typically, we add an S or an ES, depending on the ending. Um, words that end in O, if they have to do with music, like piano or solo, they tend to only have an S added to the end. Other words, potatoes, tomatoes, heroes, echoes, have ES. You just have to learn them. Y, if there's a consonant in front of the Y, like in baby or country or lady, we have D, we have R, we have B, you change the I and add ES. Change the Y to an I and add ES, right? Um, if it's a vowel in front of the Y, like in key, you just add S. Keys, turkeys, donkeys, okay? Um, F, sometimes there's an S on the end, like chief and roof. Other times we change the F to a V and add ES like wolves, leaves, lives, and knives. And again, there's no reason, that, no rule regarding when we add S or when we add V-E-S. Um, you just have to learn them. Some no nouns stay the same, such as deer, sheep, and fish. Please do not write fishes. Um, and then other nouns uh, change in special ways. Child becomes children, goose becomes a geese, man becomes man. The only time you add an apostrophe when you're making something plural is for letters, numbers, and symbols. So if you're talking about multiple T's or S's or 10's or 2's, um, then you would add an apostrophe S. But other than that, you would never add an apostrophe to make something plural. And then just to note on compound nouns, those are nouns made up of more than one word. Um, doorknob, bedpost, sister-in-law, living room, bed, bedroom, etc. When you make those plural, if it's one word, you're going to add the S or ES, follow the rule. If it's hyphenated, you're going to make the most important word plural. So runner up becomes runners up. Mother in law become mothers in law. Music box becomes music boxes. Dining rooms, maids of honor. So you just have to make the most important word plural. For your assignment, I want you to write a sentence that has more than one noun in it, and you must identify for me what the nouns in the sentence are. You can underline them, bold them, color them, I don't care. Just in some way identify them and let me know how you have identified them.